Jose, it's up to you. Good morning. Last, yeah, that's from Good year. Year. <laughs> um, last year we had a completely different uh, jersey on when we had the press conference. Yeah, it was a little bit uh, gay parade. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I miss a little bit the pink one, but uh, no, it's. You know, it has been a, a long year last year with uh, that white jersey. And um, for sure I was proud to, to wear uh, the jersey the whole season. I had uh, quite pressure to wear it, all kind of races. Not only the top races, also the small races. But uh, at the end it was a pretty satisfying year for me and uh, I enjoyed a lot, that for sure. As Kunrito said, it's, uh, it's time to get it back. <laughs> no, for sure, uh, you know. I'm not angry, so I lose it one year, but then I get it the year after. <laughs> that's the plan, that's the plan. At but least wait. I have the car. <laughs> <laughs> you still have a white car. Yeah, I still have it. I don't give it to, <laughs> to Mulawi. <laughs> <That's for sure. laughs> Talking about the World Championships, you had been on the Cycle Cross World Championships about three weeks ago. You became, uh, you lined up on place 20. Uh, I've been the fastest mountain bike, and if, if it goes on like that, we have in a few years Jose Amida as a cycle course world champion. I have talent, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, uh, I'm uh, more or less at the end of my career, I couldn't start again uh, with cycle cross. But uh, yeah, it's uh, part of my preparation, as I always say. It's, uh, I enjoy it a lot, I like uh, to keep moving, uh, keep racing during winter. Because normally I used to stop a lot, and uh, that's a way to keep uh, training, or not training, but at least to doing uh, power trainings. And um, actually, Belgium was pretty hard, you know, because it was uh, the Belgium Championships, and then it was the rest of the world. But uh, I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna keep doing cyclocross for the next season, that's for sure. But uh, it's gonna be complicated to fix uh, uh, the World Championship cyclocross in as a goal in my calendar. That's uh, more or less impossible. Well, uh, what's probably more possible is the Olympic Games. Um, are you already selected? No, no. It's uh, it's pretty funny. As Gundita, um, we are uh, right now. We are six riders that uh, we we will take part the three spots. So that means there are three they have to uh, buy a TV at home <laughs> to check the Olympics if they want to see it, not in life. So, uh, but the counter for everybody uh, is uh, from then this year. So last year we qualified the country as a three spot, and this year is going to be the, the names selected. Uh, obviously, uh, if you check the UCL ranking, I'm the, the guy with the better position against the others, but uh, you know, races, are races and uh, you never know what can happen. But uh, actually, you know, I'm more or less qualified, but not officially. Well, we expect that you're going to be in the race, but what we know is that you don't know the course yet. There has been a race on the Olympic course, yeah, you didn't took part of that. Um, are you not interested in a course, or are you fast on every course anyway? Yeah, I'm interested in the course, but. Uh, Actually, if I'm serious, uh, I'm just interested in one hour 45 in August. That's the only, uh, the only hour I'm really interested to perform as much as I could. And, uh, but uh, the court, they will open again. Uh, yesterday I got a call that uh, after Ophelis World Cup, they, it's going to be open two more days for training. And uh, most of the multiband biking team, or at least the whole multiband biking team, is going to be there for test the course again and take the last uh, decisions of bikes and uh, choose the tires and everything to be ready for uh, for the Olympics, that's for sure. And you, you already got the silver medal, um, so <laughs> you know what that means if you want to improve. <laughs> pressure, you mean? <laughs> no, gold. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> that's not pressure. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, uh, that's going to be, in case I go to the Olympics, or I hope to go to the Olympics, that's for sure. Uh, it's going to be my fourth Olympic Games, so I start in Sydney and uh, Athens and uh, Beijing. So it's going to be a, a big highlight for me for this season. And uh, as you say, I have a little bit the background uh, with the fourth position in Sydney, second in Athens, uh, tenth in uh, Beijing. So I hope to be back uh, for fight for the podium and be one of the favorites uh, for the gold. Uh, 
And you know, the Olympic season is always really special. I know a lot of riders, they don't do the Cape Epic this year because of the Olympics. Um, you're going to start the season with a multi-stage uh, marathon race. Um, yeah, exactly. Why do you do that? <laughs> uh, I get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I'm a big fan of Cape Epic. But this year, as you say, the Olympic Games changes everything, change the calendar, change the mentality of the riders, change the, it's uh, moving a little bit, uh, too much the, the mountain bike is in with the Olympics. When actually, actually it's a normal race, more or less. So, um, but this year I start again, I start early in my season, and uh, one of the possibilities was to take part in the Andalusia bike race, uh, six days stage with a uh, one prologue, and not so long stage like a Epic. So, in one hand, it's a really good preparation, even if I'm not a marathon rider, or at least one, not a specialist marathon rider, and uh, it's going to be a good preparation looking for the first World Cup. Uh, it's going to be really important. Two weeks after the Andalusia bike race, it's going to end the uh, 2nd of uh, March. So two weeks after, we have the World Cup in Peter Meisburg, and uh, I hope it's going to be a good preparation. We have to be really in shape in the first World Cup, to show uh, uh, my national coach uh, the shape and uh, to start to build uh, the ticket for the Olympics. So there are two or three main races this year, the World Championships, Olympics and the first World Cup. Yeah, if you look like this, yes, it's going to be really important, the first World Cup. And uh, actually, if I start really good in the first World Cup, maybe I close the garage for a period. <laughs> For a period, and then I open the garage again in summer for the Olympics. But uh, I hope to, yeah, to start good in the, in the first World Cup, and then uh, go on uh, during the season, small break in summer, and then uh, focus completely for Olympics and uh, and the World Championship, of course. Jose, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. A World Cup.